Hey, yo, 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 people, how you all getting on? This is your boy, Popsy, from Future Shock Studio. Welcome back to yet another video. Today's review is all about this microphone. It's the ModMic Wireless by Antlion Audio. It's a great sounding and very unique microphone, as well as being totally in its league of its own, as far as I'm concerned. The total unique factor of this microphone is it can actually fit onto any pair of headphones. I'm currently using my Sony's that I always do in the podcast. Let me just show you this. It's totally wireless and now you're hearing the audio straight from my Canon. I can basically place this on any of my microphone headsets. Let's put it back on. Anyway, with all that being said, let's roll the intro. Welcome back. I just want to say a big thanks to the folks at Antline Audio for sending me the Mod Mic Wireless for a review. However, they have got no input into this video, so all the opinions are going to be based on, on what I think of the mic. Just before we dive straight into the review, I do want to ask you, if you haven't already subscribed and you want to see more of these kind of videos, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you want to ask me anything, please leave it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check the timestamps to help you navigate throughout the video. All the audio in this video is going to be recorded on the Mod Mic Wireless wireless which is going straight into my macbook and as always i'm recording in logic pro x the mod mic is very simple to set up i've got the receiver which is going straight into the macbook pro i've attached this to the microphone and i'm recording in your logic i'm going to show you here what my settings are in logic pro x they're around the 28 percent i found that more than sufficient if you hit that apple icon on the top left hand corner then go down to system preferences go down to sound you'll see in the input level that i've got the antline wireless microphone selected and my input volume level is set around the 28 percent mark that's going to be on the Mac. The Mod Mic Wireless does allow you to record in 16-bit 48 kilohertz. And I won't be doing any post-processing. You're going to hear the dry, raw vocal that comes out of this microphone. However, I may need to boost it in post. So do take a moment out while watching the video to see all the information below. With all that being said, let's go and do the unboxing. So when you first open the box, you're gonna be faced with this hard shell zipper carrying case. And then you've got the Mod Mic wireless microphone. You also get the USB receiver, which plugs straight into your MacBook Pro or your PC or your PlayStation 4 or 5. You get a couple of 3M round sticky tapes and an extra magnetic connector if you wanna use it on a different pair of headphones. Then you get this USB charging cable and then you get a USB extension cable. So let's go and have a look at the microphone itself. On the microphone, you're going to find a button that is used for both pairing and muting. And when you hit the button once, press it again, it unmutes the microphone. At the bottom of the microphone, just around, around this area here, you have two polar patterns which are unidirectional and omnidirectional. I've currently got it on omnidirectional. This is what the audio has been sounding like since we first started the video. Let's turn it on to unidirectional. Okay, now I've got the microphone in unidirectional mode and this is what it sounds like. I think I would prefer the omnidirectional. I think it just gives a bit more rounded sound. Whereas this mode, it's definitely got a more of a cardioid pattern where it's picking up things that are more isolated and less of the room noise. I'm going to move it back to unidirectional as that's what I prefer the sound on. Okay, I'm back onto my usual preferred mode, which is omnidirectional. So at the time of making this video, in the UK, this microphone is selling for the £130 mark. This microphone is selling in the USA for around $120. In terms of its compatibility, it works with Mac, PC, Linux, and it works with both PlayStation 4 and 5. However, it's not compatible with the Xbox. It weighs around 26 grams. I've had it on. I really just can't feel it. All I'm feeling is my headphones. It is a very light and portable microphone system. To get the mod mic wireless onto the headphones, firstly, you would use the alcohol pads provided, give it a, a bit of a clean, stick the magnet on. And by the way, the magnets, I'm gonna show you now how strong these magnets are. Even at a distance, when I let the magnet go, it just, it clicks straight onto the mod mic. 
So there's basically no chance of this coming off unless you really sort of kind of pull it off yourself pretty hard. So you clean it with the alcohol pads and preferably you want to leave it at least a minimum of an hour and preferably leave the magnet on the headphone by itself for about an hour or preferably, which is recommended, overnight. I personally did make the mistake of using the headphones straight away. It didn't stick as well. I had to put another 3M tape on it to make it stick and I did wait overnight and since then it's been perfectly fine. So let's go and talk about the pairing. So pairing is very simple. You do is plug in the USB receiver into your Mac or PC and you'll get a blue blinking light. Then you put the USB cable into the microphone itself and also plug that into the MacBook Pro or PC. Press the button on the mic and it'll automatically pair and you're all good to go. There's a corresponding light system on the mod mic as well as the receiver. That's because once you've got the mic on, you don't know what mode you're in. I'm just going to show you that once I press the mute button, it's going to go red. Obviously, you're not going to hear what's going on. The corresponding light on the receiver in the MacBook Pro is also going to show me red. So I'm going to press it now. And as you can see on the receiver, the red colored light goes on. So let me just briefly explain the color modes on the mod mic wireless. Flashing blue means it's pairing. Once it's paired, you get a single blue light, which means both the receiver and the mic are paired. Red means it's muted, which I've already shown you. The orange light on the microphone means it's low battery. During charging, you're going to get this pulsating orange light, like I'm showing you now. Once it's fully charged, you're going to get a static orange colored light. Once the microphone is fully charged, you get around 12 hours of use out of it. So for most people, it's more likely to last you a few days or possibly even a week, depending on your use. Usage. Another massive pro feature is the ability to charge while it's in use. Okay, let's go and talk about some of the specs. Let's go and have a look at the microphone capsule specs. The frequency response for the omnidirectional is 50 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz. In the unidirectional polar pattern is 100 hertz to 10,000 kilohertz. The range is around 10 meters plus, which is equivalent to 32 foot. The bit depth is 16 bit. The sampling rate is 48 kilohertz. You get the APTX low latency codec. Latency is at 34 milliseconds. The mod mic wireless is compatible with Windows, Linux, and PlayStation 4 and and PlayStation 5. So now that I've highlighted all the features in the Mod Mic Wireless, let me know in the comments below what you think about it, or is it worth it for you? Is it something that you may consider? What things about the Mod Mic Wireless did you like and what you didn't like? So let me give you some of my final thoughts. Well, so what makes the Mod Mic Wireless so special? Well, there's a few things. For me, firstly, it's the ease of use. It's a simple plug and play system. In terms of the sound, I do like the sound of it, actually. I was a bit skeptical to begin with. I thought, is this little microphone going to be able to give me good sound? It does. And uh, you've been hearing the sound throughout this video. I haven't done no post-processing. You are hearing exactly what has come out of the mic. The ability to record in 48 kilohertz, 16 bit. Yes, we're in a studio environment and it is already going to sound good. Overall, I really like the build quality of it. And one of the features I do really like is if I'm talking to you direct, I don't know what mode I'm in. But even if I press mute, Now, I really wouldn't see that mute button. Having these LEDs on the receiver indicating what kind of mode you're in, the thought process that Antlion Audio have put in with these LED status lights is brilliant. That's one of the, my favorite functions. The other thing I really like is I don't have to be up close. Throughout the filming of this video, I can move anywhere I want. I can even turn my le head left. I can turn my head right. And, you know, the audio is still going to be, because the audio is going to be remaining with me. I don't have to be right in front of the camera to get really good sound in normal cases you do. I am going to do a few tests quickly. I'm currently speaking on the mod mic wireless and this is what my voice sounds like on it. Now I'm talking on the Canon DLSR cameras inbuilt microphone and this is what the audio sounds like on it. I'm just going to put the aircon on and see if it picks up any background noise now. I'm going to stay quiet for about five six seconds.
I do like the fact that I can use this microphone on any pair of my headphones, which in itself is a unique selling point for this microphone. Anyway, you judge it for yourself what you think of the microphone. So if you're looking for a wireless microphone system, then you might want to check the ModMic Wireless. It's a great sounding mic. I can definitely vouch for it because I've heard the audio. I've been testing the audio, listening to it as well. If you've got any questions, do drop us a comment below. And that's all you're going to get from me for today. And if you did enjoy the video today, drop us a like and hit that like button if you like the video or smash it if that's something you're into and subscribe if you aren't already. And I shall see you next week.